Good. All right, we're good to go. Hey, Coach, I'm just wondering with, with the game uh, approaching Saturday, if you have any kind of update on um, your roster, or what it might look like or what it might not look like. Yeah, we, we will. Well, we do. Uh, uh, good news, bad news. We, uh, uh, David will arrive here Friday morning, so he will practice with us Friday. Uh, we do know that. So uh, Tristan will not make the trip. Tristan tested positive earlier this week uh, after after numerous negative tests in a row. So uh, uh, he will be he will remain in Lawrence until uh, until uh, uh, the following week. And then uh, if, if we're fortunate enough to advance and then Jalen, uh, it, it looks like that he'll be uh, coming to Indy on on uh, Monday. So uh, uh, that's that's where we are. David will be here and in uniform on Saturday. Jalen could be in uniform on Monday, and uh, and uh, Tristan will not be in uniform the first two games. Coach, have you? Uh, what, what's it like when you're waiting for these test results? Do you guys have another round of testing in Indy beforehand, or what's your like next couple of days look like? Oh no, no, we test every day. So so this morning we were. Our test time this morning was 8 a.m. So we, we tested at 8 a.m. And then it takes a, a you know, they're, they're testing every athlete in the, in the tournament. And, and, and so uh, uh, we, we won't get our results back until later on, late this afternoon probably. But uh, this will be uh, our third test since we've been here. Bill, what do you envision uh, for Tyon for his role coming up Saturday? Uh, well, I know he's going to play. Uh, at least we certainly think so, and and you know he'll be he'll be one of our four perimeter players. We're extremely extremely small, as you guys know, and and, and how much we can utilize David uh, remains to be seen. Just because of you know he'll you know how he feels and his timing and all those things. So uh, you know you're not going to be able to count on him for a, for a significant number of minutes. I don't believe on on Saturday, even though that'd be nice if we could. But uh, so you know it's you know. Christian uh, goes from being our, you know, starting wing to also our our backup five, uh, or Marcus could play that, and and then uh, you know maybe Tyon could play that some too. But it won't affect us much offensively, but it'll certainly affect us defensively because we will be tiny. This this will be I don't know if we've ever run a team out uh, there this small, so uh, we're going to have to be very scrappy and aggressive. Bill, has David been able to do anything? to just stay in shape at all? I don't, I, you know, I, I don't think so. I, I, I really don't, uh, CJ. I think that, uh, you know, he says he's feeling well, but I don't know about any workout activity or anything like that, that, that he would be doing on his own because, you know, he's isolated to the room and to the dormitory. So, uh, you know, if he's doing stuff, it's, it's, it's certainly, uh, uh, hopefully because he's feeling better, but that's not something that, that, that we have, uh, you know, encourage trying to get him to do. Hey, when you talk about those those different roles, like CB being a backup five and stuff like that, do you have to get him up to speed on on how to do that, or do they still do what they do and it just kind of fits? Uh, I, I I think there's a little bit to get up to speed because it'll be hard to run. You know, we we run we we don't always run them in a game, but we run a lot of sets. I mean, we got like seventy something sets. So so. Uh, uh, and, and granted, we may only run seven in a particular game. So we, we, we need to kind of narrow the scope and, and come up with five or seven things that we can do with probably CB or Marcus playing the five, at least for those play calls. And, and, and I, I don't think that would be too hard. I, th I, think, I think certainly he can get up to speed on that stuff pretty quick. And, we, and, we, and we've done that so far the last, uh, the last three practices. So uh, I guess the last two practices, excuse me. So. Uh, you know, it'll be a little different, but defensively, you know, we're going to, you know, we're going to, we switch, we played small earlier in the season. We switched five a lot. You know, he just kind of be taking Jalen's place, at least initially where we start. But since we switched so much, he, you know, he's yeah. had to guard a big guy. Uh, he guarded Culver, you know, for half the game uh, against West Virginia the first time we played him. So I think he'll adjust to that pretty well, even though their big guy is a load inside. Hey, Coach, what is the possibility that Jalen Wilson could play on Monday? Like, what, what would have to happen for him to possibly get a new uniform? Well, we, we don't know. Well, that, that's if, you know, obviously if we're fortunate enough to advance. But we, right. don't, yeah. we don't know what time the game time is. Uh, you know, there's certain protocols that have to be met. 
uh, getting here. You know, if it's later in the day, it would probably help, but we don't have any control over that. Good. Right. And then what have, you, what have you seen from uh, Eastern Washington? Anything, uh, anything specific? Well, they can all shoot and they can play around a, a, a true big. You know, I, I think it's pretty impressive. And, 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 you know, we say this most every year, but we didn't get any favors on this deal. Uh, that the, there, there's a guy that doesn't start on their team that was unanimous preseason player of the year in the league. And he's good enough to make uh, uh, not only make nine threes, I think he took 18 against against uh, Southern Utah, which obviously had the best record. I think they were 11 and two and, and, and maybe Eastern Washington was 11 and three, something like that, or 12 and two and 12 and three. I, I don't remember exactly, but but and, and he's not starting. And, and so then, then, then their big guy is the player of the year in the league this year. And, and they've got basically, you know, got five average and double figures and, and a sixth average in eight and a half. So uh, they can score the ball and they can all shoot and stretch it. Uh, they're, 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 a, they're a tough team to guard uh, uh, based on, you know, the tapes that we've watched. And I think we've watched several of them. So uh, that would be something that we have to really uh, – uh, do something we will have to do is defend the arc and still yet yeah, it's, it's a little bit hard to defend the arc if, if your post guy's your, your best scorer so uh, uh but we got we got to figure that out bill have you ever went into an ncaa tournament game in your career with this type of roster uncertainty and things being in flux no 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 I, you know we, we've gone into ncaa tournament with <clears throat> you know I, I i started thinking about how many times you know we we played without our full complement of players when it when it, at the end of the season, whether it be, uh, uh, you know, without Joel or without Cliff, uh, uh, there's two starters with Perry being hurt uh, uh, without Doak, even though that happened early in the season a couple of times. So, so we, we, we've gone through periods of time where we've, we've not had our full complement of players. I don't think we've ever gone through anything where our full complement of players could be returning in three days or four days or one day. And, and, and you don't have them for the prep up until when they return. So it, that, it's different. It's different. It's going to be different for a lot of people. But, you know, I, I was really proud of our guys and how we performed against Oklahoma. Uh, I thought different guys stepped up. I, I thought the way we played was, was conducive for our guys having some success, and hopefully they still feel that. And so uh, even though it, it'll be about nine days since our last game when we played, uh, uh, I, I think it'll be an adjustment, but not as much as what a lot of people think. We may not play well, but it won't be because I don't believe that that it, we've been uh, uh, throwing a, a curveball that we can't hit. I think it'll be because somebody else just plays better than us. And and uh, at least that's I, I think our guys are confident that if we play well, we can still have success. Eight of your guys are getting their first taste of the NCAA tournament. Do you share with them about your playing experience in the NCAA tournament and 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 what it was like? My playing experience, uh, 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 my playing experience only lasted for forty minutes because uh, uh, I only played in it once, and, and uh, uh, Pete Carrill and in Princeton back cut us to a victory. So I, I, I didn't have that long of an experience playing, but you know I, I've had a lot of experience. I don't I don't know you guys would know better than me probably. It's got to be close to 70 games, 80 games that we played in the tournament since I've been a head coach and so and, and many, many games as an assistant. So I, I think we have a pretty good feel for, for what to, what's going to happen, although this year it's different uh, and because nobody really has an exact feel on, on what's going to happen with the, with the logistics of this tournament. But I, I think our guys will be focused. I, I, I think they're, I think we'll give ourselves the best chance. I, I think they know there's a commitment level from a concentration and focus standpoint that needs to happen more so than it has all year long to give us the best chance. And I think, I think we're up to that. Hey coach, uh, uh, Eastern coach, Washington coach, uh, Shante Leggan said that he borrows quite heavily from you and what you've done on defense and offense. Can you almost see that? And how flattering is it that he would say that? Well, he's done a great job. You know, I remember when, when he was a good player at Cal, I know he finished up at Fresno, but was a good player at Cal and, and, uh, uh, I, I'm really impressed watching them play. They may do some things similar uh, 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 to us uh, in many, in some ways, but if you look around America, there's not a lot of secrets out there. Everybody steals from everybody. I, I still, you know, I, 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 I'll probably steal a play from Eastern Washington moving forward because there's one action I love that they run that I think we can, it could be good for us. So 
uh, but everybody everybody learns and steals from everybody else. But that's that's a nice compliment. But I I certainly have the the same respect uh, uh, looking at their looking at their program and their team and how they play certainly is what he said about ours. Coach, you looking back at this last last week or so, you guys had made it through without really any issues with COVID through the year. What's it been like kind of emotionally and logistically for your whole program the last couple of weeks, but just kind of this uncertainty as you've gone through? And do you feel better this week than you did last week about having your full roster? I and mean, what's it been like, I don't know, percentage wise, how much better do you feel or worse do you feel this week as opposed to last week when these things first started popping up? Well, well, when it first happened, <clears throat> and was that Dennis? I don't even know if that was Dennis. Uh, oh, that's Todd. Yeah. Hey, Todd. I'm sorry, but but when it, but when it first happened, uh, the first thing I thought of was NCAA tournament. You know, the Big Twelve tournament is important, but it, it's it's not like it's not important like this. And so I was just thinking about how does it impact us for that tournament? And of course, it would because uh, uh, you know we wouldn't have our guys able to practice with us full time. And of course, you know, not having David with this obviously is an impact. But when Jalen, uh, uh, when, when Jalen tested positive uh, on Friday, uh, you know, that what that threw more concern in it for me uh, that, you know, what what is going on here? Uh, uh, you know, Tristan, he had to be quarantined. He's David's roommate. I'm sure that's how he contracted it. But but, uh, you know, we've done a really nice job. Our medical staff has been unbelievable as far as keeping people away from people and isolated. So, you know, you start to worry if, if there's if there's you know something that has triggered something within our program that may not stop or or, or could could continue. And and right now, I, I I I'm 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 you know nervous about each test, but I'm also very optimistic that it's going to be okay too. And and so. Uh, 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 but it, but it, it is a little bit different. The, the players, the players can't think like that. They, they 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 can let me and our medical staff worry about all that other stuff. They they just need to go about their business as they have and and uh, uh, you know stay focused on the job at hand. And then if there is an obstacle, we'll deal with it. But uh, we certainly hope there's not going to be any more moving forward. Coach, you, you've you've been very forward about you know how new this is, right? This is something you've never been through. Also, you've talked about your experience in the tournament. You've unfortunately had experience where you've lost a big before, right? But you always knew that when I, I've coached a long time, so yeah, yeah <laughs> yes, yeah. Uh, but when Doke was out, okay, you can move on and say we're going to embrace the things that we do well. This is different in the sense that you've got McCormick out, but you still are, are going to get him back. How do you divvy up, you know, embracing what you potentially could be? This is you know, unique in the sense that he's out and can't practice, but you have a pretty good chance that he's going to be back. Well, we're preparing for one game right now. You know, I think for, I think most weeks uh, during a, a, a NCAA tournament, I would spend the early part of the week preparing for the, for the potential matchup in the second game, because you still would have two or three days to prepare for your first round matchup. I will tell you this, we haven't, we haven't spent, Anytime on anybody else other than Eastern Washington, so so uh, 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 you know we have lost in the first round before twice, and uh, you know that's a bad feeling and everything. But you know we, we, our team is different this year, and, and uh, we know we're going to have to you know scrap. We're going to have to claw for everything that we can possibly get that comes our way in a positive way. So so uh, I haven't focused on anything other than this game. And in this game, we're focused on being without David, and David is a bonus as opposed to playing through David. As a follow-up, you, you mentioned the next game. How much more difficult is it for you and your staff? People talk about the, the play-in game and what it means for the team that's got to play that first one, but it's an extra team that you've got to prepare for. How, how much more difficult does it get when you are preparing for that two-team tournament? Like you said, that two two-game tournament on the weekend, but there's an extra team to prep. Well, uh, 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 the scouting report on those those three opponents will be done by probably today. So uh, uh, there will be numerous opportunity. There's enough time in the day, especially with the way things are, are here right now, being somewhat quarantined. There'll be enough time in the day that, that I will be familiar with all three teams before we play. Uh, uh, but my focus is on you know, Eastern Washington. Now, I'm not. I'm not focused on that, but I'll. I'll be familiar with it. And but our the scouting report will be done. So, even though you can, we we won't spend time practicing against their stuff. Uh, uh, 
uh, and certainly we wouldn't from this point forward anyway because we've only got two practices left. But, but we won't t have time practicing against their stuff. But but we we played enough styles in our league and and things like that 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 whatever any of those opponents do, it may be new to us, but it won't be totally foreign. So uh, uh, I, I'm I'm pretty confident in a quick turnaround we can be prepared. Have you guys been Bill, in touch it's, with Bill, it's Nancy Armour with USA Today? Can you say exactly when Tristan tested positive and, and or when you'll have him available? And then, kind of related to that, if you guys make it, you know, to the Final Four, you're you're in Indy for three three plus weeks. Uh -huh. How do you keep the players engaged, or how do you deal with the mental aspect of that? Because this is something that you know they've not dealt with before, and that mental health has obviously been talked about a lot. By other sports that have had bubbles, you know, you know, uh, Nancy, I, I don't think it'll be as big a deal uh, because you can see the finish line. I think it would be a a, a, a much. I think it's a much bigger deal uh, having the the quarantines and, and, the, and the semi isolation throughout a course of a of a six or seven months, uh, and, and and the grind of every day. This is what we're doing. This is how we're testing. This is how you're eating. This is not leaving the room. Uh, uh, basically no social life, all those things. So uh, I, I, I actually think the fact that we're here and something I think that really triggers energy is walking around and seeing all the other players that are your competitors and your peers and, uh, and the other coaches and the staffs and people following you up practice and all these things that, that I, I believe gives you energy that gets you more excited uh, to actually play. So it won't be easy. It won't be easy, but I also believe that that uh, uh, it's not the hardest thing. It, 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 just playing here, and if, if you're fortunate enough to advance, I think the sacrifices that you have to make being here, uh, uh, I think, will be minimal compared to the reward. Hey, Bill. hey, Coach, I know that you talked about Dave as a bonus, but but have you or someone on your staff have have you guys done anything Zoom wise with him to? to kind of keep him engaged in scouting report and game plan and that type of stuff? Uh, not yet, uh, but I will tell you this, our players know exactly how Eastern Washington plays, but we haven't shown them actual footage yet. So, I mean, they know actions to guard and all these things, but we haven't shown them actual footage yet. Uh, uh, we will start that today, but, but, but three days out, guys, is a long time. So, so uh, uh, but we'll start that today, and then David will be engaged with that. Uh, but we haven't done that yet. Coach, I, I know a couple more. Being a, a three seed, you're, you're one of the heavies, but for you, this is kind of an underdog role, right, compared to where you're you're normally sitting at. Is that a card you can play uh, with your team? Is there any effect on that because you aren't the heavy in this year's tournament? Uh, you know, uh, uh, I, I feel like uh, that's a good – I don't know that you, we could spin it that we're – an underdog, and I don't know that that would be something that our, our opponents would would think of. But certainly, we're we're, we're not at full strength, and and uh, but we weren't at full strength when we played a really good Oklahoma team and and played pretty darn well uh, uh, in that game, especially the first half, obviously. So uh, it'll be a way that I think that we can spin it. That uh, uh, I think we have a chance maybe to do something that not as many people probably expect us to do just because of the cert, the hand that's been dealt us. But we have a great opportunity for guys to be even better than what maybe they've had an opportunity to be uh, to this point because of, uh, uh, you know, personnel changes. So I, I, I'm excited about it. I, 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 we, we, have a, we have a motto, you know, faces change, expectations do not. And I think it's one of those deals. You know, we still expect to play well and we still expect to play – uh, 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 to have a chance to compete in advance, but but we know our margin for error is probably as slim as it ever has been. Hey Bill, I wanted to ask you, you, you talked about the importance of this tournament. I know I know they're all important, um, but I wonder, do you sense any like added weight to this just with, um, you know, some of the news in the athletic department um, that you guys have had and just the, the sacrifices players are putting into to, to isolate and do all this. Does it, does it maybe mean a little bit more with that context than a, than a regular NCAA? I, I think it does mean more in that context, but I, but Sam, I don't think it's because I don't think it's an extra weight. I think it's something I, I, I look at this as a, as a, an opportunity to gain 
not a not a not a situation where you can lose. Uh, this team, if you follow this, this team is it's far exceeded a lot of what a lot of people thought. I mean, we weren't very good at all uh, for a good period of time, and 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 these guys have flipped it and, and, and really committed. So I want it for them, and I'd also want some good things to happen for our, our school and our athletic department. And I know this could be a way to do that, but it's not an extra weight. It, it's it's not anything that I feel a pressure that we have to do some. Uh, the pressure was, you know, basically uh, uh, to to put ourselves in a position to be in this spot, and the guys have handled that beautifully. Uh, we can't control what our roster looks like and everything. Uh, uh, we expect to play well. We expect to advance. But I don't feel the weight of the world on my shoulders that we're carrying around more of a burden than what we would have carried if it, was, if it wasn't such a strange year. Got time oh, going back to Tristan, um, when did he test positive and, and when would you have him available? Or uh, is that still TBD? Uh, you know what? It's probably, Nancy, it's probably TBD, but he tested positive uh, 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 late Sunday. So we found out about it. We immediately notified uh, the NCAA as soon as we found out about it. I couldn't talk about it because I didn't have the liberty to talk about it then because of HIPAA regulations, but it happened uh, uh, late Sunday. So if, if you add it up, I believe that uh, could rejoin us on Wednesday if we're fortunate enough to win two. Hey, so could, when, could you start could you, it? When did David test positive Tuesday? Uh, no, no, he didn't. It was earlier than that. I can't remember off the top of my head, Gary, but it was earlier than that. You can do the math. He's going to be here on Friday still. Hey, Coach, could you talk a little bit about Mitch Lightfoot's role? And he's one of the few guys with tournament experience. He has some momentum from that OU game. Yeah, Mitch played great against OU. Of course, you know, that's what I was saying earlier. You know, uh, 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 David's, uh, uh, you know, the, the unfortunate thing with David testing positive, you know, could turn out to be a, a, a great opportunity for Mitch. And he made the most of that opportunity against OU. So I, uh, uh, I see him having a similar role to what David's had. You know, we're still going to try to play the same way for the most part. Uh, we'll play smaller more often, but 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 yeah, we we want we want to utilize Mitch in a comparable way that we did David. Now, we won't throw it to him probably as much on the post, but Dave, but Mitch is a much better ball screener and getting out of the ball screen than what David than than David is at times. And so, there's some things that we can try to take advantage of with Mitch. All right, guys, we're our time is up. We're supposed hey, to. Coach. Yeah. Is that it, right. Thanks. Okay. Thanks, Thanks guys. Thanks.